Hey, what's up? I want to give an update on my back. Um, so it's it's like going into probably like week two or three, and I have seen significant improvement in my sacroiliac sacroiliac joint. Um, I've been slowly. I mean, it's for instance today it's three twenty three. I've spent a lot of time sitting, and it's not spasming right now, which is which is huge. Which um, which is great. Um, if it's been three weeks and it's doing that well, I was able to walk two miles today and it didn't get all bad. Though yesterday, it was spasming last night when I sat. Um, so I've I've seen some improvement. Um, I've been babying this thing and icing it a few times a day. And uh, t today's really the longest day I've been able to sit. Um, I did a bunch of research today on uh, the ligaments in your SI joint and um, cartilage. And basically this is what I found out, your SI joint. And some of this is I've, I've kind of known, but I've just, I went on to um, Wikipedia, which had quite a lot of inf good information. Um, and... Um, Basically, what your S so here's your your sacrum and here's your your iliac, so the joint that connects them, the sacroiliac joint. And what connects this joint is actually not muscles; um, it's uh, ligaments and um, cartilage. Well, there's cartilage on, so your ligaments are connecting to the cartilage. And um, I think I hypothesize that I think I probably have a little bit of both. I think I probably have some cartilage damage, which sucks because that is likely to lead to osteo. Um, what is it called? Uh, osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis. I have to look it up. Um, which is a type of arthritis. It's basically just constant inflammation because you got bones and kind of touching because the cartilage has been worn away. Um, I think there's definitely probably some ligament damage. And when I look at the ligament, I, I think it's probably the short posterior sacroiliac lim ligament, which is part of the posterior ligament on the sacroiliac, al sacroiliac joint. And um, the one thing that's... Oh, another reason why I think that, that I might have... Um, a case of uh, um, osteoarthritis is is because the, one of the medicines that has worked really well for me is on the pill it's GG739 but it, the title is diclofenac, dif, diclofenac sodium 75 mg no Diclofenac is the name of it, and that I don't take it very much because here long term it screws up your stomach. Um, so I've tried, I've always tried not to take that, and I often take Flexerol, but I haven't been taking that a lot lately. I went on it last week a couple times, like daytime and nighttime, and it just I hate how I feel after taking that medicine for a few days in a row. It sucks. Um, I haven't really been taking any of my um, the best stuff is. Uh, uh, is your flexorol? No, not your flexorol. Your uh, clonazepam. Um, as long as you take it in the daytime, because if you take it at night, it totally screws up your sleep and it's become very addictive. Um, I bet, imagine it can become addictive in, addictive in the day. But uh, so yeah, so that's 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 my diagnosis. The one thing that's still questionable now is why there's popping. I still need to do some research on where the femoral head attaches into the sacrum because. I have two kinds of popping in there. One is when I stand up, um, when I stand up, and we'll lift, watch out, better even do it right now. So it's going to pop right in, well, it's inside, it's inside, it's in my femoral head, right there, pop. And sometimes it seems like it honestly pops in, like, it seems like it might pop in my sacroiliac joint, which doesn't make sense, but... So, so sometimes I'll put my hand on the back of my, I'll, I'll put my finger on the joint 
and lift up the leg just to see if it pops. Um, and it usually won't. Another time it pops is when I stretch, when I stretch the leg out like this. So it'll probably do it here. No, it doesn't do it. So it has to be for a while, but then it will pop in the bottom of the like the femoral head. So that some some ligament or some kind of connection. I wonder what that pop is. It's very, um, it's a very high frequency and um, audible pop. So there's some relationship with with the the pulled ligaments or whatever in my say in my sacroiliac joint sacroiliac joint and this popping and I think if I was gonna get any kind of treatment um, I would probably go with prolotherapy um, it kind of helps the cartilage grow and helps uh, helps the ligaments grow too so um, one of the good things that's happening now is that I don't feel the pain creeping up into my um, into my low back which I've always thought was the quadratus lumbarum muscle but I imagine it's probably there's a, there's layers of muscle so that's another place I need to do some research um, I think that's all for this video. Um, yeah, icing is about the only thing that really consistently helps. Um, I've noticed that when I heat it up, it doesn't feel so well. And so hopefully I can get a good um, high paying job to fix it, um, get some treatments on it. Uh, anyways, I think over the last year, some of the other malalignments, some of the muscle imbalances that I've had have kind of must have worked themselves out as I've had this uh, eight millimeter uh, leg uh, heel lift in my on my right leg, and that's all.